Hey there, my name is Chris Acton with Acting Creative and this is a handwoven experience, episode 99. And in this episode, I'm talking about planning for double weave. So let's start at the top. What is double weave? Double weave is a weave pattern where you create two fabrics at the same time. So whoever named that was pretty clever, I gotta say. But what can you do with double weave? Well, first of all, you could just weave two fabrics at the same time. That in itself is very cool, but there's a lot more. You can take those two fabrics or two layers, we'll think of them, and you can connect it on one side, which means when it comes off the loom, you can unfold it and you have double the width, which is perfect if you have a smaller loom or you just wanna make really wide fabric. You can also take those two layers and you connect them on both sides, giving you a tube. Mm -hmm. Very fun. And lastly, you can take those two layers and they can flip flop positions to give you really interesting designs throughout your fabric. So there is a lot you can do with double weave. But before we go racing off to weave some, let's make sure we have our heads in the right space and we're accurately planning for double weave. So let's start with shafts. Now I have a four shaft loom and I want two layers, meaning I can dedicate two shafts to each layer. Top layer, is, layer has two shafts, bottom layer has two shafts, which in this case means I'm gonna do some gorgeous plain weave. Two layers of plain weave, right? If you have an eight shaft loom, you can do the same process. Divide it in two, that means you have four shafts that you can dedicate to each layer, okay? So then let's talk about the actual putting the project together. So we'll start with yarn. I am using my favorite yarn, which is a uh, carpet warp or rug warp. It's a cotton. And when I do plain weave with this yarn, I set it at 12 ends per inch. So I want my top layer to be 12 ends per inch, right? But I also want my bottom layer to be 12 ends per per inch, which means that in one inch of my double weave project, I'm going to have 24 warp yarns. So as you're planning for your double weave project, plan for twice the amount of yarn that you normally would use in a project. That's easy math, right? Okay. So if you've never done a double weave project before, here is what I would recommend. I would recommend having two very different layers. So for instance, your top layer is orange and your bottom layer is blue. Just, it's just gonna be a really nice visual to keep it straight because it does make you uh, work your brain just a little bit. So if it's your first one, pick something small and give it a go, but try it with two distinctly different colorways so that you can visually see which one goes where, okay? The other thing that I would recommend as you are threading your heddles is that uh, thread them in just a real simple straight draw. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But in this case, you want your top, all those orange yarns to be on shafts one and three, and you want all those blue yarns for the bottom to be on two and four, okay? Are you with me? Now, what that's gonna do is that that's gonna give you some visual clues as you go into your project. Now, like I mentioned, there's a lot of variations for double weave, so whichever one you wanna try right out of the gates, this is gonna help you keep track of, am I on the top layer or am I weaving the bottom layer? Because what you'll find is that to get to the blue layer, the bottom layer, you have to get all of this out of the way. So you'll have to lift up those yarns for the top layer to get to the bottom layer. Top layer is a little easier to manage. Bottom layer, you gotta kind of think that through. So those are some of my suggestions for as you're putting together the plan for your double weave project. Now, in some other videos, I'm gonna get into the actual nuts and bolts of how to weave a double weave project, whether it's a tube or a double the width, or I've got other things in mind, but I want to make sure that we took a minute to kind of get you in the right headspace so you can accurately plan for your double weave project. I know it's a lot and double weave takes a, takes a minute. If there's ever a project for me that makes smoke come out of my ears, it's usually double weave, but the results you can get are fantastic. So it's worth it to give it a try and um, kick it around on your own. Okay, my friends. 
that is what I've got for you today. Planning for a double weave project. Please let me know if you have questions, comments, or want some more information. I'll include some links for some other details for you as well. All right. Have fun with some double weave, huh? Have a great week. Happy weaving.